In this video, I'm going to show you how to just the new Windows 11 modern context menu and get back the old classic context menu that will be used to on Windows 10 and the older version of Windows. So let's get started. Now when I right click on my desktop here as you can see we have the Windows 11 modern context menu right here. But then to get the old context menu you have to click on the show more options button over here. And now we got back the old classic context menu which we are used to on Windows 10 and the older version of Windows. Same thing when I go back to File Explorer here as you can see we've got the captures folder right here. And now when I right click on it we've got the Windows 11 modern context menu. And now when I click on the show more options button we've got back the old classic context menu. But this is kind of annoying because you have extra steps to get this old classic context menu but today i'm going to show you a small trick in which we're going to be tweaking the registry editor so that when i'm right click on your desktop or on any application or icon it will automatically show up this classic context menu and not the windows 11 modern context menu so first of all head now to the link in the description that will open up this pdf right here that's got the registry path and all the keys that we'll be needing during the whole process of getting the old context menu so first of all, just select the first registry path right here. So select it, right click and click on copy. And then hit Windows plus R on your keyboard and then type in reg edit and go ahead and hit OK. And in the user account control window, just click on yes. And here as you can see, we've got registry editor opened up. And over here, we've got the text box right here. Just select it, right click and click on paste. And just go ahead and hit enter. And now here as you can see, this folder right here that says CLSID is selected go back to the pdf and we've got this key right here just select it right click and click on copy go back to the registry editor and then in the white space right here make sure you have sclsid selected and then in the white space right click hover over new and then select key and then hit ctrl v or just right click and click on paste and just hit enter go back to the pdf once again and select this sub key right here select it right click and click on copy go back to the registry editor and once again right click hover over new and then click on key and then hit ctrl v or just right click and click on paste and then hit enter and here as you can see we've got this file right here just double click on that and then we're here make sure you don't edit anything just leave this blank and then leave this at default and click on ok that is to make sure that the data is set to blank and then once you're done with that just go ahead and close it and close all the windows on your computer and just go ahead and restart the computer so that we apply the changes made to the registry editor Now here as you can see it's just restarted my computer and now when I right click on my desktop here as you can see we've got back the old classic context menu that we had on Windows 10 and the older operating systems of Windows. Now here as you can see we've got this opaque looking effect right here which doesn't look really cool and doesn't blend with the background because the default Windows 11 context menu had the cool blur and acrylic effect but now for the default one here as you can see the old one doesn't have that cool blur effect it's just blank and opaque but there is a method where you can just get back a cool acrylic effect i'll leave a link down below you can just click on the card right here or you can just watch the video where you can just get the cool acrylic blur effect on this context menu as well and if you want to get back the old Windows 11 default context menu and just get rid of this old context menu, hit Windows plus R on your keyboard, type in reg edit once again, hit OK. And then the user can control when it's click on yes. And then once registry or editor is opened up, just hunt for the key that we created earlier. As you can see, we've got this key right here, 86CA1AA0, this key right here. Select it and just hit delete. And then in this confirmation prompt right here, just click on yes. And when you close the window, you don't need to reach out your computer because the changes will take effect as soon as you delete the key. And now when I right click on my desktop, here as you can see we got back the default modern Windows 11 context menu. And yeah guys, that's the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any queries, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.